Hello everyone, my name is Sean Moore. I'm a Principal Cloud Network Architect on the North America Shared Security and Network Services team. In this video, we're going to show you how to quickly deploy the OCI WAF policy, load balancer, and connect both components. The OCI WAF stops malicious traffic further away from your origin application by acting as a reverse proxy that will inspect all traffic flows or requests prior to these arriving at the origin web application. First, we'll create a load balancer and attach it to two existing backend web servers. So to begin, let's go over to our top left hamburger menu. Under networking, select load balancers and create load balancer. Let's use a default load balancer. Okay, let's give our load balancer a descriptive name. F demo LB. I'm going to leave the defaults uh, for visibility and public IP address settings, along with the load balancer shape as well. I'm going to scroll down and ensure that the correct VCN is selected along with the appropriate subnet. Then I'll hit the Nets button. I'm going to keep the default load balancing policy weighted round robin. And at this time, I'm going to go ahead and add my pre existing backends. Once my backends are added, confirm that they're selected on the correct port. For our demo, we're going to use HTTP. So port 80 is what we want here. Let's look at our health check policy. By default, HTTP is selected and it's also using port 80. That looks good. Let's hit next. For our listener, we'll want to use HTTP as well. So ensure that's selected and then double check that port 80 is also selected here. Next. Okay, for logging, it's optional, but let's go ahead and enable error logs. I'm gonna select my default group. Okay, let's submit. After a few moments, our load balancer is deployed. So let's go ahead and confirm reachability to our backend web servers. I'm going to copy the public IP address that was assigned. And let's open up a new tab and paste that here. Okay, great. We were redirected to web server two and I'll refresh. All right, there's web server one. So we can reach our backends as expected. And now we can move on to configuring our OCI WAF. Let's do that now. All right, back on our load balancer menu, let's go over to the top left hamburger menu once again. Let's scroll down to Identity and Security and click Web Application Firewall. Okay, let's create a new WAF policy. Let's give a de descriptive name. Demo, let's use the correct compartment. Uh, for actions, we'll leave the default. Let's hit next. And for this demo, we're going to use access control. So let's enable access control. And for our access rule, I want to deny access to my public IP address. So let's hit add access rule. Give it a descriptive name. I'm going to use block my IP. For the condition type, let's change that to source IP address and we'll use my current public IP address cider. All right, and the action name, let's do a pre-configured 401 response code down towards the bottom there. Hit add access rule. Okay, great. Now we'll leave just about everything else default. Let's hit the nets button, nets, nets. Here we'll select our enforcement point which will be the load balancer we just created. So let's select our load balancer. 
There we go. Okay, that's it, net. Uh, review, and let's create our WAF policy. Now that our WAF policy is in place, let's go back to our other tab and confirm that my source IP address is now being blocked up by the WAF policy. Okay, refresh. And there we go. There's the expected 401 message that we set earlier in our WAF policy. To recap, we created a load balancer, confirmed access to our backend servers, then wrapped up by creating a WAF policy that controlled access to our web servers based on source IP address. To learn more, or even try this demo yourself, please visit our website at oci.com.